Today I decided that I would make a mini album from my packaging that I've been collecting, hoarding, storing, stashing for the last I don't know how many years from Tim Holtz's stencil. Here you can see that I have chopped down most of the cards and I've left four on one side that I'm going to use as a cover. Now I am busy scoring each one in two places, each one at one eighth and then at the second one eighth mark. Here I'm bending them all in place and working out what sort of size I will need. I had 11 pages and so I was working out that I would need one and a half inches to be able to stick all 11 sheets in. That was the theory. So I glued them both together so that they'd be nice and thick as a cover, bent them up, popped some double-sided tape onto the edge of each page where I had folded it neatly, and slowly but surely rubbed them all well with my bone folder and fiddled and faffed until I got all the red tape covering off. Then added them one page at a time, making sure that they lined up neatly and stayed straight. I did the double fold so that the pages would lie flat. I learned that trick from Sharmila who learned that trick from someone online. As it turned out, I could only fit 10 of the pages into the cover space that I had left there, which wasn't the end of the world, seeing as it was packaging that I was reusing. Here I am using both glue and double sided tape to hold my spine in place. I've overlapped my two covers at the back. Now you can see the giant roll of book binding tape which I have stuck on my craft mat to be able to cut straight and to be able to stick onto my spine. I stick it on the spine first, close the book and then pop the sticky stuff down the side. Now I've got the insides where each facing page has the brown but the back of each page still has Tim's writing from his stencil. So I'm busy going through my stash of stuff to see what I have that is kind of steampunk or brown related and choosing some paper from Stamperia, working out how big it is and it turns out that each page needed 4 inches by 8 inches. The nice thing is you can get 4 of these out of one 12 by 12 sheet. So I only needed two pieces of paper and all the extra bits that I had found. I inked all my edges after I had cut them down to size and glued them in place. In this case I've made a pocket and mostly I'm just covering up the backs of each page as I go trying to make sure that each page is slightly different from the one before so that if there's clocks it will be two or three pages before I have a repeat of clocks. And so I went on until I was finished. Thanks for watching. Bye!